Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot the top six reasons why your washing machine is leaking. Stick around to the end of the video for an important washer safety tip that most people don't even know about. But before we begin, we're going to make sure the appliance is unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. The first thing we need to check is the drain pump. It's used to remove water from the tub during the spin and drain cycles. Normally when the drain pump leaks, it's due to a bad seal or a crack in the pump body. In general, drain pumps are mounted on the bottom of the washer, but can sometimes be mounted on the motor itself. If you notice water underneath the pump area, that's a good indication that it's leaking. If it's been leaking for a while, sometimes you'll see a dry white residue on the pump itself where the soapy water has been leaking. Also, make sure that the hoses aren't loose or leaking at the connections. If the pump is leaking, you'll need to replace it. If you need to order a part, simply go to appliancepartspros.com and type in your model number. Find your part on the easy to read diagrams and match it to the number below. Click on the part if you want to see more pictures of the item or watch its repair video. You can also scroll down to see DIY stories from customers like you or ask a question in the Q&A section. Once you're ready, you can add the part to your cart. It's that easy. Most orders will arrive within two business days. If you have a front load washer, the next things we have to check are the door seal and clamps. They provide a watertight seal between the outer tub and the front panel. If your door seal is leaking, it's usually because it's been punctured by something sharp that's gotten into the laundry. It could also be caused by a loose or rusted seal clamp that's come off and caused the seal to slip off the front panel or tub. So inspect the seal, and if it's damaged, you'll have to replace it. Then check the clamps. If either are rusted or damaged, you'll have to replace those as well. If they look okay, you can just reuse them. Now we have to inspect the hoses. They will carry the water through the different parts of the washer. There are many hoses inside the washer. Once you identify the area where the water is coming from, you'll have to inspect that hose. The most common ones are the fill hoses, dispenser hoses, tub to pump hose, internal drain hose, and the external drain hose. The fill hoses are located on the back of the washer. On a top loader, the dispenser hose goes in between the water inlet valve and the inlet. On a front loader, the dispenser hoses go in between the water inlet valve and the dispenser and from the other end out to the tub. The tub to pump hose is usually located at the bottom of the tub and connects to the drain pump. The internal drain hose goes from the pump to the back wall and the external drain hose goes from the back wall to the drain. When inspecting the hoses, it's helpful to flex them. This may show small pinholes or cracks that may not be visible when the hose is in its normal position. Once you find the hose is leaking, you'll have to replace it. Also make sure you inspect the clamps. If any are rusted or damaged, you'll have to replace those too. The next thing to check are the tub seals. They will keep the tub from leaking when it's full of water. In both front load and top load washers, tub seals are used to seal the drive shaft to prevent water from leaking out of the tub. Front load washers have an additional seal that goes in between the two halves of the outer tub. For top load washers, the seal is located on the bottom of the tub. If the seal is leaking, water will drain down onto the gear case and you might see water marks on the inside of the cabinet walls because as the washer spins, water will be flung off to the sides at that level. For front loaders, the tub seal is located inside the outer tub at the rear. You can't see it without taking the washer apart, but it's just behind these bearings. If it's gone bad, water will be leaking from this area. The outer tub seal is found on front loaders only. It goes all the way around the outer tub and seals the two halves. Here's where the split is on the tub. If water is leaking from it, it will probably fall the split down and be dripping from the bottom. If water is leaking from any of the seals, you'll have to replace them. As always guys, hit those like and subscribe buttons now to help support us making more of these videos. Another thing to look at if your washer is leaking is the water inlet valve. It controls the hot and cold water that goes into the tub. The main reason the water in the valve might be leaking is that the seal has failed, but it could also be that the body has cracked. They're usually located on the back panel of the washer where the fill hoses hook up. If the valve is leaking, it'll have to be replaced. The last thing to check is the detergent dispenser. It regulates the soap and other additives that go into the washer during the cycles. The detergent dispenser has all the hoses attached for the different additives. If it's clogged or the body is cracked, Water could be overflowing or leaking from it. Once you have the top off, you can inspect it for damage. If you see any cracks in the body or the top, you'll have to replace the damaged part. Now here's that safety tip we promised you earlier. 
Washing machine fill hose inspection is often overlooked by most people. If your fill hose bursts, it can cause severe water damage to your home. A fill hose can flood your home with up to 500 gallons of water per hour, so it's important to inspect them regularly. Make sure to check the entire hose for any signs of bulging or leaking. Also make sure the fittings aren't corroded. Then shut off the water and look at the washers and screens inside. If they're clogged, you can just clean them out, but if they're rusted or damaged, you'll need to replace them. When you reinstall them or put new ones on, make sure the hose fittings on each end are tight so you don't get any leaks. There are many different types of hoses. The most common ones are rubber or braided stainless steel. Rubber is the most common type of hose, but if you want extra burst protection because of where the washer is installed, it's recommended that you upgrade to the stainless steel type. Some of the newer systems even have an auto shut off feature that shuts the water off if a leak or change in pressure is detected. Regardless of the hose type or the warranty it has, it's important to check them at least one to two times a year because they can fail at any time. Once you take care of the problem, you can plug the appliance in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another troubleshooting video brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and if you have any questions or want to share how your repair went, leave a comment down below.